What is a party? No, not this party. But a party. The word party comes from the 15th century French term parti pris, which literally means decision taken. And this really emphasizes why this term is so important in the world of architecture. Simply put, a party is a diagram that organizes the overarching theme or purpose of a building. It's not necessarily a plan or elevation, but instead a quick view of the main elements of a structure. For example, let's look at the Lincoln Center in Manhattan, New York. The building is divided into three main components. The party might look something like this. Theater on the left, opera in the middle, concert hall on the right, all with a central courtyard. The party is less about dimensions and more so about spatial hierarchy. Now, it can also be about location. Let's take the World Trade Center site as an example. We have the memorial pools as the center of gravity, surrounded or encased by the other buildings. The theme of this party could be enclosure or safety and reflection. Now, a party is unique to every project. It's like the fingerprint of a building, and it's rare to be able to copy one party onto a different location. So how can we use a party in practical terms? Like a good movie with a central theme, the characters, music, editing are all in support of that theme. The same can be true for architecture. The materials, views, and shapes of the structure should support the central idea. Now, if you're designing a set of buildings where the focus of the party is connectivity, perhaps you have a walkway that brings the spaces together. Or let's say you're working on a residence where the party's focus is transparency. Maybe you would reorient the building to create the most sweeping views. And perhaps instead of concrete, you'd be using more glass. This is the beauty of a party. It really helps to make for a cohesive and intentional design. And if you do it right, just maybe everyone will want to throw a party.